What's going on everybody, it's your boy Payne. Welcome back to another Street Fighter Duel video and here we go guys. They didn't even silhouette this, they just straight up told us what the hell is gonna be happening. So we do have confirmation now officially that Summer Ibuki is coming out tomorrow. We should see the other silhouette. So they don't usually do it back to, like they don't do it in the same day. They usually do it one day and then another. Now, the funny thing about the silhouette is these colors are literally the legendary colors. The Summer Ibuki colors are exactly what legendary is. So, I don't know whether uh, I don't know whether this is gonna be a actual legendary or not, but I don't think it's going to be. I still think we're looking at most likely. Sorry guys, that it's white. I usually do uh, usually do <laughs> dark mode. Um, but yeah, I mean it, it's kind of unique that they've done it with a legendary color background. So my last video, if you didn't watch it, I wrote that there's no chance in hell um, that they're going to be doing anything besides master like i still am sticking to that i still think they're going to be doing master i, I like this is, i think is a coincidence that this color is here um if i do a quick google search let me just quickly see something hold on uh summer is the key street fighter duel what when people were talking about her in the past what did she, what colors does she have do we have a color here no they don't even have a color so i was hoping that maybe i could find something in the cn oh see summer yang there you go so look maybe not i'll take it back because look, Summer Yang has the same color as well. And he is an actual factional unit. We all know he's a flame unit, right? I don't know whether in CN he was legendary. And that's why they're copying just the CN lettering. So that I'm not sure about. Um, actually, I, ironically enough, I can check out Scion's video. Let's go into here for a sec, guys. Um, sorry, Scion. I'm going to skip this just because I want to see if this is legendary or not. Shout out to Sion for doing this, by the way. I, you know, I did talk about the fact that I don't like comparing versions, but this part does make it a bit easier. So I'm gonna go ahead and fast forward this a little bit and just look at what he was in this game. Does it even say? Yeah, it doesn't really say his faction, does it? Let's see. It looks so different. I like everything looks so different about it. I love this that they have Street Fighter. Street Fighter Five, Ken. I'm so jealous about that. Yeah, let's see. Oh, he's a fl he's flame here. I think this is flame, right? I think that means flame. I don't know what the red one means, so someone would have to tell me what that means because I'm looking here. Two reds. Yeah, it looks like flame because he's red. I'm assuming that's what that is. So it looks like in the CN version he was flame as well. So um, I don't think there's a Summer Ibuki video anywhere. So it's hard to find what she's going to be. But chances are, because of what I just showed you guys, we're probably looking at a master unit. I'd be shocked if she's anything other than that. Um, but yeah, that's that's it right there. So that's confirmation. So tomorrow, we're going to see the Thunder unit. And most likely, like I said before, this is going to... Chances are it's going to be Mummy Dawson. I, I gave it 95% surety here because... I don't. I want the five five percent margin of error in case something happens and the devs change their mind. But at the same time, like for me personally, like if she is just a support unit, I don't care about her. We have enough supports, and they're really good. Unless she's like broken support, I'm talking about better than S poison support, then I'll go for her. But for me personally, like all my focus is going to be on the DPS because I find that DPS in this game is all that really matters. The tanks and stuff do matter, but they matter more in challenge mode, which at this point is kind of like we're at the peak now where the rewards just don't justify the effort in my opinion, but the bosses in PVP still does. So I think having a DPS matters more. Now, again, unless she's completely broken, I'm not going to be going for her. I don't have that many div tickets. Um, I do want one copy at the very least, right? Like I, I'm going to do that. So at least I have her in my in my, in my my gallery. And then I can use her for events. Because chances are, guys, because she's coming out now, her and Mummy Dawson will most likely be in other events for rewards. So that's something you want to keep an eye out for. Sorry, I got coffee. I needed it. It's been a long morning. Um, so I don't have any skill sets to talk about. Uh, I will say this. Her picture looks absolutely stunning. Um, I like I like that the sweat is glistening over here. It's glistening, guys. Okay. Uh, I think also that she's not gonna. She may not bring anything unique. Now I I don't know if I remember hearing this correctly. 
some people said that if, and maybe some folks from the Taiwanese version and the CN version can come back here in the comment section and let me know if this is true or not but I heard she was a bleed unit so if she is a bleed unit I think there was a combination of units that work really well with Vega to make him even better um, so I'm hoping that if she is that unit then I may actually go for her uh, to make my Vega a little more prominent in DPS for bosses because now they're doing so many multi-boss fights that I fear and this is a legit fear that we're going to eventually go from like three teams to four teams to five teams eventually. Because if you don't know, in progression story mode, there's up to five teams right now that can be used at 40, 40 24 and up. Um, so I don't see them not going to that in boss modes. I, I can see them very much doing that. And this will force players. This is, a, again, a marketing strategy. This will force players to build more units that are power creep units or units that are OP to be competitive at that level because three people can do three right now with a lot of the og units but now when you get to four and five things become a lot more complicated right now you're going to need to open up that sandbox uh, that's your gallery and try to find pieces that fit together and do well um, and that's really hard to do so these units coming out may eventually uh, end up having our older servers go to four or five teams now i hope that's not the case because it's already hard enough to manage three um, I really hope it's not the case, but I can see it eventually coming down the line as a marketing strategy to make people purchase additional um, additional units to push that envelope even further for rewards and bosses, right? Making it a lot more competitive, making it a lot more difficult for people to, to, to do better except for those who spend. Uh, and, and quite honestly, look at it from a business perspective. It, it makes a lot of sense, right? They're not really here to keep their player base from what I see. Until we see that big change that I'm hoping we do see with the Ninja Turtle collab or whatever other new collab that comes out, right now things are status quo. And the problem is with things being status quo, her coming out as master is going to make more people leave because they're all used to seeing her as legendary. And 50 bucks or 30 bucks versus, what, $300, $400 is a big difference for a lot of folks. Now, the beauty of her being master, there is one upside, is the fact that people can get her, at least, as an A copy or further, by her being in the pool forever and being able to pull for her as a master unit. That'll be at least the one upside to everything. The downside, of course, is the amount of time it'll take, and it'll take your focus away from other existing units that are there right now, such as Iryu, Akuma, right? Um, and then eventually other units to come down the line, like Goken, uh, Balrog, Sagat is there right now, um, Vega is there right now for a lot of you, T-Kami's there for a lot of you. So, I mean, Div is, Div is open up to a lot of units currently. The, the beauty is you can choose one unit to go for, and that's the unit you're going to get. But again, it's going to make you change your focus, and you will have an, a couple of incomplete units, um, which, of course, is a problem. So, uh Again, she's not going anywhere, I don't think. I don't think she's limited, which is good. So she'll be around. You can focus on the one you want, but I do think she's going to be mastered. So I wouldn't really look into the Summer Ibuki legendary color. If anybody mentions it, let them know. Payne said, go back and look at S. Yang's. He has the same colors. He's only factional, right? Okay, guys, this is Payne. I'll talk to you guys about Mummy's uh, doll sim if he does drop. If he is the unit that's dropping as Thunder, we'll do more about him later on. All right, guys, we'll talk to you soon.